so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing my second video in my DIY home decor series. If you have not seen the first video, I showed you guys how to make this really cool abstract painting. I will have that video right here as well as in the description box, so make sure you check it out if you haven't already. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to make a really cool faux fur bench. I love the faux fur trend, whether it be like rugs, an ottoman, a bench obviously, or pillows. There's just so many ways to incorporate faux fur into your home decor. I just think it's really trendy, but it's really fun. I just, I'm like obsessed with the style of faux fur. So I've been looking for faux fur furniture pieces for at least a couple of months. They're always extremely pricey, whether it be like a couple hundred dollars, $600, $1,200, like they really can get up there sometimes and I knew it was something I could do on my own. I think this is definitely a project worth doing because it really is a fraction of the price. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. When I bought this bench, I knew it was going to need a major facelift. I was not a fan of the fabric. I was not a fan of the legs. Pretty much everything except for the shape just had to go in my opinion. The first thing I wanted to do was put on hairpin legs. I'm a huge fan of the mid-century modern trend. I just really love it. I love the hairpin style. So that was the first thing and the most important thing for me. And I bought these hairpin legs off of Amazon. They were 16 inches. And if you want to save a little money, then stick with wooden legs or stick with what's on there already. But I just really wanted hairpin legs, so I did splurge a little bit on that. And the next thing I did was paint these legs black. If you want to leave them raw metal, then I think you have to put a wax on them because it can start to rough, but I just wanted to spray paint them black, so I did a couple of coats and then I let it dry overnight, which I really recommend doing because they almost felt a little sticky even after 24 hours. Once the hairpin legs were dry, I switched them out with the old legs, which I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit challenging, especially someone who doesn't have any experience with like things like that. I started with, I don't know, a screwdriver, a hammer, an electric thing. I don't even know what to call that. But if you can have someone help you who's a little more experienced, I would recommend it. I didn't have anyone to help me, but I figured it out and they're on. I'm actually sitting on the bench right now, so I definitely have everything set how it's supposed to be. But once the legs were on, it was time to reupholster the bench. Finally, I could hide that really ugly fabric. I used a staple gun and I stapled the really long sides first and then the short sides. Staple guns are just really quick and easy. I also really like staple guns because I could leave the entire piece of faux fur as one piece. I didn't want to cut off the excess in case one day I decide I want to take the faux fur off of this and I want to use it for something else. Then that way I have a really large piece that will work for way more things than if I had to cut it down. So if you can do that, I definitely recommend it. And finally, I'm going to do a little rundown for you guys of exactly how much I spent. And of course, the first thing is the bench, which I thrifted and it was only $10. And the next purchase was the hairpin legs. Those were $42 for four 16 inch legs. I know that's a little pricey, so if you guys want to say Save money I recommend that you stay with the legs that are on it or if you want to use wooden legs those are always a lot cheaper if you are doing an ottoman since they are a lot shorter it's obviously way less money so the longer they are obviously the more expensive they are and my next purchase was the faux fur I bought one and a half yards and it was $26 which is a really good deal my last purchase for this project was the spray paint that was only $3 so the total for this project is $81 I know it isn't super inexpensive, but if you want to save money on this project, there are so many ways to do it. Stick with the legs that you have or do an ottoman instead of a bench because it will have shorter legs, it will be way less fabric. So there's just a million different ways to save money on this project, but I always want to be honest with you guys and tell you exactly how much I spent. Still, that is a huge discount compared to all the benches I was seeing for several hundred dollars, sometimes in the thousands. I'm so thrilled with how this turned out. I can't wait to actually find a place for it because I've been putting it in so many different places just just wanting to find the perfect spot. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please thumbs up so I know to make more videos in this series. And of course, please subscribe and I will be back again very soon with a new video. Bye!